I'm Michael at Make My Home Smart. And did you know, on home automation surveys, the number one thing that most people are interested in is a smart home theater. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I cut the cord and use the money that I'm saving to create a smart home entertainment system for all three TVs in my house. So for just a couple hundred dollars and a little bit of hardware, I was able to incorporate my TVs into my smart home. So using Amazon Alexa or Google Home Hub, I also have voice control. So I can do things like Google, turn on the TV in the living room. Turning it on now. When I first turn on my television, it defaults to a home screen or a main menu. Across the top are the apps that I've been able to download, so what gives me the ability to watch what I want to watch. When I scroll down, it gives me the same apps. It just includes some recommended shows, screenshots, or movie posters. Live local TV was my first concern. I looked at a couple of options and decided on YouTube TV. I love the home screen and that it makes recommended picks based on what I've been watching. I can search by genre. I can even resume watching something that I started earlier today or yesterday. When I go into my library or my DVR, it shows me what I've set up to watch for later. My wife and son have their own DVRs, and we only see our own stuff, which is really kind of cool. When I go into live TV, it shows me a television guide. I guess that's similar to most any. I can change the order of the way these channels appear. When I'm watching television at my house and someone calls my phone, I don't reach for the remote. I just say, Google, pause the TV. And when I'm done with that conversation, I can say, Google, resume play. And it goes right back to what I was watching a minute ago. You can add premium channels a la carte, which is the way I think it should be done. I decided I would start with Showtime. And it's month to month, so I can change this to HBO later. I picked it because there was a couple of original series that my wife and I were both interested in although I have access to all of their movies, sports, comedy. I've been a Prime, Amazon Prime member for a long time and watching movies on my tablet and phone. But it's really nice to have an app on my television that gives me access to all these movies now as well. The NVIDIA Shield that I have is a gaming version. I have the game controller that came with it. I have to admit, I was really impressed with the number of free games, how good they are, the graphics, how well they play. I connected my security cameras. I have seven cameras around the outside of my house. And I can pull these cameras up on all three televisions. And it scrolls between them kind of in a quad format. I can also select or go to a specific camera. So if I have someone coming to visit my house, Likely I'll see them before they ever get to the front door. Yes, I painted a basketball court on my driveway. But the coolest thing I can do is synchronize my lights and my sound system to what I'm watching. So when I pull up a YouTube video, it does this. In my opinion, that's how a smart home theater should work. You can follow us on our LinkedIn and Facebook page, or you can visit our YouTube channel where you'll find more videos like this one. And for more information, visit our website at makemyhomesmart.com. Thanks for watching.